The home his grandparents built and in which he was born is covered in ash after a volcanic eruption that lasted 85 days, only being declared over on Christmas Day. And there's a lot of work to be done. I'll find a couple of friends to help me clean this up, more or less. Also upstairs, we are going to see if we are able to get the car out. First, I am going to clean the upper part from above, air it out, clean so that if I come, I will live upstairs when there is electricity and water. Geronimo counts himself lucky that his home wasn't wow. among the 3,000 buildings destroyed by Mont They say it's like cement the only structural with water damage on it. was the partial collapse of his garage. His car is still in there. On the island, they are digging through volcanic ash piled 10 feet high, and it's all hands to the pump to get homes back in working order. But resident Isabel Fuentes believes issues are likely to persist for some time. Esto es un problema muy grande, pero claro. This is a very big problem. People think that when they clean it all up, it will be over and we can now enter our homes. Look where the volcano is. When there is a storm, the wind will blow the ash back here again. It won't be as much as it is now, but we're going to have this stuff in our homes for years and years. Right now, as it started to rain, it is as hard as cement. Geronimo is one of 7,000 people from La Palma who were forced to leave their homes living in a hotel provided by local authorities. So far, he's had no official your brother. help with a clear up wow. at his own home. The La Palma authorities have warned residents to clear ash wearing masks and protective clothing and avoid entering basements where toxic gases could still be trapped. They have offered help to vulnerable populations and people whose homes are unstable. Wow.